Good morning, everybody. My name's Dennis. I spent the night in the condo here last night. I like to, wanted to get a feel for what it was going to be like to spend the night out here. And uh, did a little cooking on the Mr. Heater. Made some coffee this morning. I guess that's what the survival experts would call choosing a tool that has more than one purpose. This morning I'm going to take a walk over to where I set up my blind last year. It was more or less a place just to kind of stop and have lunch if I was out here hunting for the day and uh, get warmed up and cool out for a little while. But I did end up shooting a pretty nice buck out of there last year, so it um, just so happened it was a really chilly morning, like 10 degrees, and I figured I'd sit in that blind with my heater and just kind of stay warm till the sun came out and warm things up a little bit so I could go out and walk around, and at 9 o'clock, 9.15 in the morning, I ended up shooting the deer, so that worked out pretty good. But I'm going to go down and check that spot out and set that blind up today and uh, I'm, I think I might spend the night in it tonight. Last night the coyotes were pretty wild uh, and they got pretty close to me here in the tree stand. I actually feel a lot safer up here sleeping than I do, do down on the ground after hearing that. But uh, I'm definitely going to go over and set that blind up and uh, do some cooking maybe take a walk with the bow and sit somewhere for the evening. So hang out with me and we'll go take care of that. Well, I got that blind in where that used that was last year. Who knows, maybe I'll be out there on a really cold morning warming up until the sun comes out again and or be taking a break and be able to shoot a nice deer out of it. But that's all set. I think I decided in light of uh the coyote activity last night that I'm just going to stay in the uh, condo again. I feel a lot safer being up off the ground than I think I would be he ain't sleeping in the blind or in my other my campsite so I'm gonna be here again tonight I went for a nice walk and I saw a ton of dog tracks and deer are running every which way so this afternoon I'm just gonna I'm gonna cook early and just cool out here and uh, maybe I'll be ready I won't be clanking around at dark trying to make something to eat. Sounds like one of those military helicopters to me. I wonder what they're up to.
Well, I guess that's it, everybody. It was pretty much uneventful weekend hunting-wise. I did wake up early enough this morning to make coffee and hang out here in the stand and just kind of watch and listen what was going on. I didn't see anything, bear, bear or deer-wise, anyway. Um, but I figure it was a successful weekend. I always have fun when I get to spend the time outdoors. Did a little camping this weekend. Took a couple of days off, recuperating time. Did a little more scouting. And right now I'm down on one of the old it's actually an old road that runs along the river. I remember talking earlier in the season about hunting along the waterways because it's been so droughty this year. So I'm going to take a little walk down this trail and uh, show you what it's like. Right over in one of those trees right there is my tree stand. I was talking about putting your tree stands along the river. On the other side of where those bushes are over there, maybe another 25, 50 feet, is the river. I was sitting in my stand this morning, about um, quarter after eight. I looked over and there were three deer coming down the trail here. I put a little bit of my mixture on my boots this morning on the way in and obviously it was attracting them uh, to follow me along. I didn't have my camera with me this morning so I didn't I wasn't able to catch it on video. I probably wouldn't have been able to anyways because of the angle of the shot. But I took the shot. It was a hard angle, very steep. But um I left the area for a while, maybe an hour and a half, and then I came back and started looking again. And um, let's go see what I found. This is the first blood I found. It's quite a ways to the tree stand, maybe 60 or 70 yards. But the thing crossed here, see if I can find a little drier spot she got tangled up in here you can see where she was bleeding against the tree and I had to put another one in her spine to finish her off but I'm not going to show you the cleaning out part and that sort of thing we're going to get that done and we'll get back with you in a little bit well we got the doe home she's hanging up I'm going to have to uh, get the skin off her and uh, get, the, get the meat taken care of but so far we've been successful. I'd like to thank everybody for following along with uh, recording in my 2020 hunting season. Um, I appreciate your viewing and uh, as I said before, it's not over yet. Muzzleloader season is starting this weekend. So tomorrow I'll be out firing the guns and making sure that everything is going to be hitting great. And I'd like to say good luck to everybody. Thanks again.